G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, over the years you accumulate all sorts of stuff, well, I do anyway, and this is um, part of my spark plug assortment that I picked up. Garage sales, a lot of it, some I bought new, but most of it's garage sales. And I went to one in particular, the guy had a service station and he shut it down and he was cleaning out everything he had in his garage and I got all these spark plugs for 10 bucks. Can you believe that? 10 bucks. And this is uh, probably two thirds of them. I've got another third in another drawer. But anyway, they're, they're handy because, you know, uh, you can make them do the job quite often close enough, good enough for the heat range and uh, some engines like two strokes you can put in a really hot plug and they actually run better because they don't oil up so much, you know. But uh, yeah, it's handy to have all this stuff. Some of these are for the Ducati, there's a few in here for the Ducati and uh, yeah, the rest are all different lengths, different heat ranges, different vintages, got some really old ones in here. And uh, Anyway, I was going through it the other day and there was one spark plug in there in particular that's really not much use to me. It won't fit anything that I would ever likely work on. And I thought I might have a bit of a play around with it. I'll show you what it is. So here it is. It's a monster. Now here's a regular spark plug out of a, you know, that's a standard sort of size that fits most things and of course then you can go smaller as, as well but this is one that is obviously meant for a a bigger engine than I'm likely to come across. It could even be for an aircraft, I'm not sure, but it's a it's a very deep throat on it, you know, thread section. And interestingly it comes apart. It's uh you can unscrew the top and it should it should dismantle. Now you, some of the big stationary engines have a size in between here. I have got one in the drawer there but I won't drag it out. But as I said this is something that's really odd. I could look it up and see what it fits. KLG G20. But anyway it doesn't really matter because it's no good to me as I said. So I'm going to open it up and we'll show you what's inside one of these screw apart, screw together spark plugs. They used to use this design in the old days, back in the olden days when they had vintage and veteran cars that burned a lot of oil and the petrol was crappy and didn't have very good valve seals on them and all the rest of it. So you had to actually clean the spark plugs very frequently and they made them so you could actually pull them apart. I mean this is all sealed and you can see to clean that it's a dirty one and to clean that I'm going to have to use a, a grip blaster to clean that which I've got but with these you can screw them apart and then you just use a wire brush on it which is what they had in the old days and even though it doesn't do a 100% perfect job it'll get 90, you know, quite a bit of the carbon out of it 90% probably and be good enough to get it going again all right, let's pull it apart, see what's inside. Now, I don't want to mark this because it's, uh, I've got a little plan for this. I might do something down the track with it, uh, which would probably surprise people. I'll be careful. All right, looks like it's metric. Well, it takes a metric, it's about 21 mil. Now if you ever undo anything that's really tight, yeah, just bump it like that and that way you got that shock action, the jarring action will help to break it free. There we go, it's coming loose. Alright, I'll pull it apart on the old eight work apron. Alright, so this comes out. Here's your porcelain. And that's all there is to it. Oh, there's a seal in there. You can see there's a, a copper, copper gasket in there. Oh, 
got stuck in there. But. So that's how a spark plug is actually made. I mean, that's no different to the sealed one I showed you earlier, except that on the sealed ones, they don't have a screw-in um, section like that. They basically assemble them and insert the, the uh, electrode insulator from the top and in the same way then they just roll the edge of the metal over so this is actually a crimp and it's a rolled crimp and that's basically how they make them and it's also how you get them apart I showed it in a, in a video a while back how you can just grind that off put it out in the lathe or you can turn it off with a, with a cutting tool and then the, the porcelain will come straight out and then you can turn it into all sorts of useful stuff like you can make a piston stop out of it, you know, or you can use it, make a, um, a piston stroke, top dead centre and bottom dead, dead centre gauge. You can do all sorts of things with these. You can put a, uh, a tube airline into them, airline connector in some way, and that way they can pressurise cylinders and look for blown heads, gaskets, you know, bubbling in the radiator and... Uh, do compression tests, you know, put a compression gauge on it. So it's old spark plugs, pretty handy, pretty handy stuff. You can make a lot of stuff with them for, mainly for automotive use. But as I said, yeah, they make great, great piston stops. You just thread them and put a bolt in there and uh, you can adjust it up and down. Lots of things you can do with them. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty interesting. So there you go. That's what's inside of a spark plug. Now, the project I've got, well, the thought I've had, I won't tell you what it is now, it's be a bit of a surprise, but something like this, which, as I said, is no, no good to me, uh, yeah, if you can utilise it in some way, make something interesting out of it, do it. Okay, that's it for me, just a short one, and a uh, bit of interest. We'll see you next time. Cheers.